Hi guys, this is an unboxing of review of the Zyxel VMG8324 and the VMG8924 wireless VDSL and ADSL2 Plus voice over IP combo WAN gigabit IAD routers, as it says on the box. We get a cable that connects your router via a filter to the telephone socket. You get a wall bracket if you want to mount it on the wall. You get a quick start guide and a CD with some drivers and manuals and other stuff and a power supply. The power supply for this unit is a 12 volt 2 amp power supply. Let's have a look at the unit itself. It's a kind of anonymous black box that attracts dust and fingerprints. Shiny, quite nicely made, but uh, very quickly becomes dusty in my experience. Two USB ports on this side and three switches on the other side. Okay, Let's uh, pause there and have a quick look at the ports. So you can see that you've got your main phone line DSL port coming in on the left, the gray one. You've got your four gigabit LAN ports. You've got a WAN port if you're using that kind of connection for uh, for your WAN. Next door you see two grey sockets for your voice over IP phones. A functionality that I haven't tried actually, but is there if you need it. A reset button inside a little recess. The connection for your power and an on-off spit switch. As an aside, I do like that everything is nicely documented on the back of the unit. You don't need to go scrambling around inside the manual to find settings, default settings. If you do a reset, pretty much everything is on the back there for you to see and use. Yeah, overall, it's a nicely made unit and uh, conveniently configured with lots of ports and options for you. It's quite a sophisticated device with a lot of configuration options, as you'll see when we get inside the software. That's obviously where we plug in the power. Here are the three switches I was talking about. WPS, Wi-Fi, and switching the lights on and off if you want a nice dark office or room rather than having a light blinking away. There are 10 or so lights on the front of the unit giving you indication of all manner of connections, performance, Wi-Fi, USB slots, um, but I won't go into them all in detail. It's all well documented in the manual, which is very thorough, and given the number of configuration options you've got with this unit, also quite complicated. This may not be a device for people who uh, want something super simple. Okay, let's uh, log in to the default login and have a look at the web interface. And I think I wanted to show you this in particular because I think this is one of the most impressive web interfaces that I have seen on a device of this type. Um, probably o coming second only to the ASUS devices, which I think happen to have very good web interface. This sort of pictographic representation of your connectivity, um, your green lines you th see there will change color depending on what you're connected. You could obviously get a more detailed text version of what's going on, indicating that this is kind of your home screen of what's actually going on, how the unit is loaded. As you can see, my unit's been up for over 11 days now, so no problem. I've actually used these units in both routing and bridge duties, and I've used both units for their Wi-Fi. Let's talk for a minute about the wireless performance. Obviously, the key difference between the two units is the A324 has 11N Wi-Fi, and the 8924 has 11AC, so higher speed. What I found, though, is in terms of range, they're both very similar. In terms of uh, overall performance, not as good as my current TP-Link but entirely acceptable and giving coverage to my entire house. I have my two units running side by side, actually in bridge mode, although as I mentioned earlier, I have used them both as routers. Here you see them sat on top of the uh, router that I'm using to manage two WAN connections. And the reason I've done that is because I found these routers modem performance and ability to hold on to a connection on a noisy and difficult line like mine is exceptional. 
the two units are identical. I can find no physical or software differences. Overall, nicely made, great connection performance, fantastic stability on long, noisy lines, and voice over IP options for people that need that. On the negative side, nothing really significant. The only thing that I would say is that the Wi-Fi performance is just what I would describe as okay. Um, they aren't cheap, but they can be found for relatively good prices on eBay in new and used condition. And there is quite a lot of configuration and configuration options for people, so they're probably not for a complete novice, as they offer a lot of flexibility and additional functionality that people like that may not need. Overall, I would recommend them both highly, whichever one you could get.